Thursday, October 1st, will be the official kickoff to chip usage in the U.S. Now, you may have seen the new debit and credit cards with the security chip in it. A recent study by Visa shows that 89% of consumers are aware of the chip cards, but only 30% have actually used one. The U.S. now has more chip cards issued than any other country in the world, so let's actually learn how they work. Welcome Stephanie Erickson, Vice President of Risk Products at Visa. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. Thank you. Good morning, Tina. So we're saying this Thursday is going to be the big kickoff. A lot of us have seen this. Maybe not a lot of us have actually used one, though. But let's kind of explain what this chip is, what we're seeing when the new card comes in the mail. Yeah, many people already have a chip card that's been mailed to them in the last couple months or the last couple years. We know that the U.S. already has about 142 million Visa chip cards, but it's going to take a few years for all of the cards that people have in their wallet to be converted. And that's very typical from other countries that have moved to chip technology. But starting October 1, more and more merchant locations across the U.S. are going to start enabling their terminals to be able to actually read that chip on your card. So it's going to change a little bit the way that you make a payment with your card. So when we're talking about uh, changing that, I'm sure that this is being done for good reasons. How is it going to change the way we actually do just our everyday shopping? Yeah, for people, when they're making a payment, it's going to be a little different than what you do today. Rather than swiping the mag stripe on the back of your card, you'll be inserting the chip end of your card into the terminal, kind of like what we do today at an ATM, except you'll be leaving your card in the terminal, and while the card is in the terminal, a unique one-time code is being generated by that chip based on your purchase amount and a few other pieces of data of that transaction, and that changes with every transaction, and that really helps us address counterfeit fraud which is roughly two-thirds of the fraud that we see in stores today. And the rest of the payment transaction is just like you do today. Instead of swiping, you're going to be inserting the card into the terminal, though. Well, Stephanie, I, for one, definitely think anything that we can do to help with security when it comes to our cards, our information, uh, I'm definitely on board for that. But some of us that maybe still have some of those non-chipped cards, how long are those still going to be able to be used? Yeah, typically what we see is those cards will take a few years to be upgraded, all of the cards in the U.S. And what most banks are doing is when the current card in your wallet expires, is that's when you'll be reissued with a card that has a chip on it. In the meantime, it's still safe to use the mag stripe on your card. Consumers are always protected with zero fraud liability protection. It's just we want to move to chip technology as quickly as possible because, again, it does really address that counterfeit fraud. But in the meantime, consumers are safe and they can continue to use the mag stripe on their card. Well, then also on the flip side, what if I have a card that already has a chip on it and I go to a terminal that is like a non-chip, you know, accessible uh, place, is that going to make a difference or do I just still use it as normal? You can still use it as normal. So there are many terminals out there in the U.S. that already have the chip hardware in them, but some of them don't yet have the software. So if you're ever in doubt of whether or not to do a chip transaction or a mag stripe transaction, it's okay to swipe the mag stripe on the back of your chip card. And if the terminal software has been upgraded to read the chip, the, there's a code on your mag stripe that's a little bit different, and it'll prompt the terminal to tell you to please insert your card. So you'll begin to recognize as you're doing your every transactions, more and more locations that can actually read the chip. But in the meantime, it's safe to use your MagStripe um, at any location, whether it has a chip terminal or a MagStripe terminal. Well, I'm still waiting for my chipped card to come in the mail, so I can't wait for it to get here and to start using it uh, you, with, you know, with all this new security features that we have. So, Stephanie, thank you so much again for joining us. And we know this Thursday we'll start to see a lot more of those terminals. Yes, thank you so much. If, if Also, if consumers have any questions, they can always go to VisaChip.com to see more information about how to do a chip transaction and how the security actually works. Well, thank you so much for all that. We'll definitely go and check all that information out. Great. Thanks a lot. Don't go anywhere. The Morning Blend will be right back.